people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. That was another video of me. I hope you had a wonderful beginning of the week. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. It's free, full of adventure. Fashion related advice twice a week. Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So you're gonna see my face like twice a week. I'm just saying. If you want to see more of me, I do have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. Today was another chatty video. I think I can talk so much, but I love doing it. So, you looking stylish at work. And it was all about six main tips that I always use and that I always go by whenever I go to work. I said it before, like you saw my previous videos look stylish in general, here it's gonna be all about how to look stylish at work. Uh, in spring we are going straight to summer soon, getting lighter and lighter uh, for our outfits. You don't need these heavy cuts anymore but you still want to look stylish. It's I know for some people you have to be much more like conservative because of the corporate environment so I took that in mind as well I, I thought about it as well but here it's gonna be a way well my interpretation again here on how you can look stylish at work we can all have different tips and any other person can tell you something much more different depending on her style. I'm not gonna try to impose my style on you because I still think that it's up to you to actually work with everything that you already have. Although I know I'm a little bit more on the wow 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 on the edgy vibe. Stop feeling you, let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> the first step that I'm gonna tell you about here is really focus on pointy shoes. <laughs> like funny story about it is that just getting really popular, pointy shoes have been the self-definition of what I call sophistication but it took me a while to actually get to that point because I thought at first it was not something that I would like, I thought it was just too grammy, too weird to me. See that I am telling you I really didn't like the shape of it. Actually something that could be so so cool. Almost all of us, we at least have one pair of pointy shoes. I'll show you examples here of what I have. I want to show you how you can actually like bring it to the next level without even having to do much to it. My first pointy shoes that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this one from Zara. I bought them a couple of months ago now, so if I found anything similar, I'm gonna like link it down below. Cute, and they're not too high either. The reason why I bought it at first is because they were black, they were like details, like the pearls, what I love a lot. And the color here is a pretty good basic. Again, here is a natural. The other one, or this one that I recently got, but it was from my uh, clothing swipe, a great bargain because I had it for free literally heel is really not that high it's just another perfect great basic to have a really nice outfit at work just do it was really have everything black for example and have just the cheetah print and the pointy shoes and from the get-go it just adds something to your outfit literally what I call the three pieces rule with something extra so bottom the top and then another one and then everything here is in black all you have here is the pointy shoes that's it you can actually so much accentuate something and if you want to add something more to it the bag is another extra touch the basics are black so you can do a lot with that when you work in a corporate environment you can't put too much prints or too much color either if you have a really big corporate environment not everybody can do that at work so the second rule that i have here is to go with the blazer talked so much about blazer you know my passion and love for blazer right now I talked about it in my previous video to look stylish I'm probably gonna say something similar here but it's still gonna have something new when you want to look just some type of like dressed up type of outfit it makes you look like really well put up together one I have is this one from Zara I bought it um, on sales and as you can see here is the details on the sleeves you could actually roll up your sleeves and make it look like so much more like stylish or if you don't want to you don't you just don't feel like it you can opt for something that already has details so you can opt for something really basic as a blazer like that I really love that kind of little crunchy details here what did I say? <laughs> it's a bit long on me which I love a lot I saw it a couple of times and I showed you how add it a little bit more you can add the sophistication right there with the belt 
or you just leave it open and have some lacy for example under a blazer makes the look so much more feminine and still appropriate because you have the blazer belted so that you just have uh, the lacy details that like just stick it a little bit and not more than that it shows to go with um, a pink a pink pants which is not something that everybody is gonna do but it's just a way here to add like much more like brightness to your outfits pair up really nice colors with something much more basic because it's a neutral color you really can have fun with it my third tip when it comes to like being stylish at work is that if you don't want to necessarily stick to the blazer but kind of like think in another way but what you can do for summer play with fun colors I'll show you a couple of examples of like outfits with really colorful blazers a great way to keep your look fresh instead of having a gray instead of having a black what you want to do is just to add fun colors to your outfit of course if you can if you have the freedom to actually add much more fun to your outfits such as like colors Pink is definitely the number one colors that I say would go with everybody. Really trendy at the moment. Mixing pink and red are really, really hot right now. Definitely, definitely a great, great thing to do. I think about the blue, the really solid blue. I think about the yellow, the mustard yellow or the light yellow. I think both are super gorgeous colors when it comes to just add brightness and add much more fun to your outfit the other option that you can do when it comes to blazer or anything outerwear ish <laughs> it's fun pieces you can play with the biker jacket as well it looks so much nicer <laughs> like so much cooler not so much nicer but so much cooler the option that you want to have in mind in bomber it's not a great piece to have when you want to play it cool but not too much <laughs> play it cool but you don't want to look like your own daughter if you have kids worst view when it comes to corporate environments or just work in general when it's like strict is to, to dress up like I'm 40 or something and I'm not even 30 yet <laughs> you know it's not bad to look like that but it's even better to look like that when you have that age 25 30 32 35 you still can play with a lot of lot of cool pieces I don't want to have to wear classic piece and just keep it classic I can't such as such as can of the age depending of the look depending of the the shape the body shape as well it's really important to pay attention to all of that when dressing up it looks like it's hard but it's actually not that hard like something that i do on a daily basis i don't even think my fourth tip is to play with prints or cuts i would say both actually are really good i love adding prints because on the have to wear a classic piece to go to work because it's just the way it is i'm gonna show you a couple of things here that could be really great for you so the first thing that i'm gonna show you this one a classic classic super classic piece prints make it look so much cooler get around the waist but i love the stripes on the side i mean what can i say about the prints h&m of course Anything similar is gonna be laying down below because I bought it a couple of months ago. So the things so I'm gonna show you is gonna be this one from Zara. So it was actually probably the last year. The cat is amazing. This one is high waisted, so it's even better for your shape. Love the flavor. You don't find a lot of pants like that. I think it takes a lot more courage, I guess, to like wear it out but it brings you so much more sophistication about it and it was probably i think it was the last pair that i found is this one from tap shop head to toe that outfit was what i call being stylish for work it's a color because it's a cigarette pen so it's a really classic one good great color for spring great color for summer also the quality so this a skirt from simon's this is a little bit more like risque because literary type of effect but again it's super cute much more like neutral or much more basic on top it's fine but it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but i think it's just amazing if you want to stay classic you can everything else can be classic but the skirt is just gonna add that touch it's gonna be it's gonna be this fluffy top from h&m but you know how fluffy it is how moving it is i love the cut i love this style why do i love this style it's black but like something that's gonna make it stand out more you can for example pair it up with sit open it's 
again amazing you can even add the cheetah print look it's so much simpler you don't have to do a lot with it you can have a lot of like colors because again it's a black on black the tuxedo pants to me it should dress up or dress down you can use for so many things you can play with the cut you can play with the fabrics you can play with the print my fifth tip is what i actually showed you a bit is to mix match classic and trendy items I said a bit about it just earlier it looks so much more sophisticated you have to learn how to mix match mixing matching is the best mixing matching the color mixing matching the fabrics mixing matching the styles mixing matching the classics versus uh, neutral or just even like the type of jewelry everything is a combination so you can still do it and it's really fun to do it even better when much more comfortable doing it last sixth and last tip is to have that statement piece if you want to stay natural if you want to stay basics if you want to stay with the top and the chin with well let's say a blazer or just a jacket you can do that it's not there's not reason for you not to do that the bag designer bag i don't have any designer bag because what i do most of the time is to play with my clothing pieces but accessory type of person if you want to invest somewhere and not everywhere because you just don't have the budget for it those bags it's something that you carry on every day <laughs> that you're not gonna change on a daily basis most of the time we kind of get to just keep the same bag every other day well i do that i'm gonna list down below a couple of options that i think would be nice to start with that was it for today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it it helped you my multi magazine is already out and it's all available so all you get to do is just to sign up on my page and then you have it free straight to your email box so you don't need to do anything because from the moment you have it straight to your email box you're gonna have it like multi basis afterwards so if you have any questions any comment please don't hesitate get back at me really really looking to have something much more specific to your style to what you're looking for either a party or a cocktail or any type of occasion back at me i'm gonna be more than glad to do it but to get the lookbook done this is a challenge so a couple of stuff that you may like have down below in the description box as well i'm gonna see you on my next video <laughs> Smile because it's free. Bye. Merci les amis d'avoir regardé ma vidéo. J'ai adoré le faire. J'ai parlé comme pas croyable, c'est incroyable. Un look beaucoup plus raffiné, beaucoup plus sophistiqué, mais de plusieurs manières. Donc euh, que ce soit par rapport euh, au type de pièces que vous avez, que ce soit des pièces beaucoup plus classiques avec, ou des pièces beaucoup plus tendances, le but est de pouvoir combiner les deux et de jouer avec cette combinaison. Trouver l'espèce de juste milieu entre la combinaison des pièces plus classiques, des pièces plus tendances et de pouvoir voir comment est-ce qu'on peut jouer avec tout ça parce qu'on va au travail, on n'est pas obligé d'avoir une combinaison de prisonniers pour le faire. <rire> déjà difficile de se réveiller chaque matin pour y aller donc sans plus de ça, on ne peut pas s'amuser avec nos vêtements. Je vais au travail, il me faut que je trouve une part d'amusement là-dedans. Et donc se réveiller le matin, mais quelque chose avec mes vêtements alors j'adore le faire c'est pour ça que j'adore donner ces conseils parce que il y en a probablement qui sont dans la même situation on a probablement qui parfois cherchent des solutions le matin à se dire qu'est ce que je mets aujourd'hui je trouve rien comment est ce que je peux qu'est ce que je peux faire avec ce qu'il y a dans, mon, dans ma garde-robe il y a juste rien dans ma garde-robe je suis comme ça, je comprends tout, je comprends le système, ne vous inquiétez pas. J'espère que les astuces vous ont aidé. De toute façon, je suis toujours joignable, je suis toujours disponible, que ce soit sur euh, mes réseaux sociaux, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. On a une adresse email aussi qui va être en bas pour toutes questions que vous auriez, bien sûr. Mon magazine mensuel est disponible maintenant, donc vous allez avoir un accès libre. Ce que vous avez à faire, c'est de souscrire à ma page, puis euh, vous l'aurez dans votre boîte email chaque mois à partir de mai ben, à partir de ce mois-ci en fait bon ça va se faire sur une base mensuelle et gratuitement pour l'instant donc euh, je vous dis euh, si vous voulez des questions si vous avez des commentaires vous allez en trouver vous allez trouver pas mal de choses dans ce magazine aussi surtout pour l'été et la fête des mères d'ailleurs puis pour mon lookbook personnalisé propre à vous et à votre style il est tout aussi disponible ce que vous aurez à faire c'est de me laisser savoir puis j'ai encore des channels sur ma page facebook donc euh, si vous voulez en savoir davantage, tout va être en bas. Au revoir pour la prochaine vidéo. Souriez parce que bah, c'est gratuit. Bye.